The district attorney has 57 filled allocated positions and 5 filled extra help positions, totaling 62 employees consisting of prosecutors, investigators, victim witness advocates, and support staff, occupying two buildings in Placerville and one building in South Lake Tahoe. The District Attorney's Office actively pursues grants and collaborative ventures with other county departments and outside agencies so we can provide more services to the people of El Dorado County. The District Attorney's Office is innovative with technology. We were the first office to use drone technology to create virtual crime scenes to be viewed by a jury. We were the first paperless prosecutor's office in California, thus allowing us to be the first department in El Dorado County to effectively move to remote work when COVID-19 hit. This in turn allowed us to use this knowledge to assist the Board of Supervisors with moving to remote meetings and to assist the Superior Court and Jail in holding remote hearings. We are one of the first to use genetic genealogy to solve cold case homicides and to exonerate the wrongfully convicted. So. What does the district attorney do? You might already know what the prosecutor's role in the criminal justice system is, but you might not know all of the things the DA does. The limits on the DA's power and the ways the DA has been changing their approach to prosecution in recent years. The DA's number one responsibility is keeping our community safe. We do that in three basic ways that we call the three P's. Prosecute criminals who break the law, work to prevent crimes from happening in the first place, and protect and support victims of crime and make sure their voices are heard. When you think of the DA, you probably think prosecutors. Well, that's a big part of our job. The power we have to hold criminals accountable is carefully defined by the law and our ethical responsibilities. When someone's arrested, we carefully review the facts and the evidence and we can only file the criminal charges we believe we can prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Unlike other lawyers, our job includes protecting the rights of the innocent as well as those charged with a crime. Then the case moves to the justice system, which provides checks and balances and accountability. Public defenders, criminal defense attorneys, and judges all play a role in how the case will resolve. Prosecutors alone don't determine a person's punishment if they're convicted. That's up to a judge, jury, and relevant statutes once we've proven our case. Our goal is always fair and equal justice for everyone, but also justice that's smart and reflects the needs of our society and the will of the people. As prosecutors, we also have the ability to give people second chances. That's why we work with special courts that steer people away from jail. Special courts address particular subsets of people who commit crimes due to circumstances that are often beyond their ability to cope with, such as mental health issues, homelessness, and addiction. Special courts are collaborative, bringing together various public service agencies and community groups to help these individuals change for the better. Veterans Court is one example of a special court where we work with military veterans who are struggling because of the trauma they experienced while serving our country to ensure they receive the treatment and support they need to thrive in our community. Special courts still hold people accountable but get them the help they need to break the cycle and stay out of jail. We also support restorative justice programs that help offenders understand the harm that they have caused to a particular victim or community. That's one way we prevent crime. The DA also engages in community outreach to help educate the public on identifying vacation rental scams, outreach to elders, and presentations on recognizing online predators and how they operate. But there are lots of other ways as well. We work with youth to help them make good choices and stay in school. One example is Project LEAD, which is a program where we teach local kids in the fifth grade about the criminal justice system and the differences between right and wrong. Each year we teach an average of 20 fifth grade classes at about five different schools, educating and building relationships with more than 500 students. The DA's office initiates investigations into crimes that aren't typically handled by police or the sheriffs, such as workers' compensation fraud, welfare fraud, economical auto fraud, real estate fraud, parental child abduction, consumer fraud, bad check fraud, 
environmental crimes, and political corruption. The DA also collaborates with the Office of Traffic Safety and CHP to keep drunk drivers off the road. These investigations and prosecutions are typically funded by the grants we receive and are vertically prosecuted, meaning cases stay with the same prosecutor through the lifetime of the case. And we let the public know how to recognize and report crimes like child abuse, elder abuse, sexual assault, and human trafficking. The third big part of our job is protecting and supporting victims of crime. In a typical year, the DA's office comes into contact with thousands of victims, and we help them in lots of ways. We help get them the emotional support for the trauma they suffer from having a child or loved one murdered, or the emotional pain from a violent crime like rape. We help victims even when we can't file charges against the person who hurt them. The DA's office houses and manages the Child Advocacy Center, where we look after the rights of children and provide them with assistance. The district attorney is accountable to you and to the laws of the state of California. Those laws are always changing to keep criminal justice priorities in line with changes in society and technology. We embrace smart reform, but will always work to make sure changes happen in a way that continues to keep our neighborhoods and you safe. And we do all of this on behalf of you, the people.